War Diary Day 539 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So here's some great news. There's been a poll by AP, Associated Press in the States, and it says that 64% of Americans at the next general election will not vote for Trump. Who fucking way. So, weirdly, it, it, it seems strange to, to worry about polling numbers uh, here in, uh, in Kyiv on a beautiful, beautiful hot summer's day. But, but this is, for many, many, many Ukrainians, it's the number one anxiety that if Trump gets in next time, then uh, um, things will be bad for Ukraine. So, this is the first moment when when a national poll takes the kind of weather, the political weather, after the four series of charges being made against Trump. And once again, he's been done for paying off a porn star and then lying about it. And that's kind of, it, effectively, it was part of his political campaigning and he didn't tell the truth about that. He's been done for fiddling the books and his businesses in New York. He's been done for trying to fiddle the election result. And the big one for me, he's been done by the state of Georgia for under RICO, under the anti-mafia laws, <coughs> excuse me, for trying to, to, to steal 12,000 votes so that the election which in Georgia, which was won by Biden, is won by Trump. That was his fantasy, but he was caught on tape doing it. All of this matters because Europe, Britain too, does not have a big enough defence industry or defence sector in depth to help Ukraine defeat the Russian killing machine. Only America can do this. So who runs America is vital for my ability to speak to you right now. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.